My name is James Wall. I'm the Scientific Director of the Tilburg Centre of Entrepreneurship here at the University of Tilburg. In this short presentation, I would like to provide you with some more information about our minor in entrepreneurship. In this presentation, I will first of all provide an introduction to the minor in entrepreneurship, then look in more detail at the three courses in the minor, and close by answering the question, why should you take this minor? But first, why should you study entrepreneurship? Well, for society. Entrepreneurship is essential to society because it is the engine that drives innovation and change and helps us to grow our economies. It creates jobs and wealth and it improves people's lives. Study it for you. It provides you with the ability to recognise commercial opportunities and the insights, knowledge and skills to act on them. It helps you to develop an entrepreneurial mindset that is valued by existing firms and is of value to you if you want to set up and grow your own business. For your career and life, it is an investment in your future and it's fun. The Minor Entrepreneurship is open to students from all faculties of the University of Tilburg and we also welcome exchange students. The Minor runs in the first semester of the academic year, so from August until December. The courses in the Minor use a combination of lectures, tutorials and include guest lectures from interesting and inspiring speakers who enjoy sharing their experience with students. The Minor also provides a number of additional skills trainings, both online and in an offline format. I'll begin with entrepreneurship theory and practice. Then we will deal with an introduction to corporate entrepreneurship, followed by creative entrepreneurship. An introduction to entrepreneurship theory and practice. First of all, we can, can begin with the course Entrepreneurship Theory and Practice. This course focuses on new venture creation. In other words, preparing you to start up your own business. It introduces you to what entrepreneurship is, why it is important, and how to develop an entrepreneurial mindset. It also helps you to develop key entrepreneurial skills to validate your business idea and attract investors. It is fun, may take, but it may take some students uh, out of their comfort zone. The course takes you on a journey towards launching a new venture, be it for profit or non-profit. Creativity and opportunity recognition is at the start of the journey. But then you need to validate your idea and your business model. You then need to plan ahead and define what your business will look like and what you need to launch your business. You will learn that you need to make decisions even when there is a lack of information, risk and uncertainty about the future market. During the course, you receive training on how to structure and deliver a pitch to investors and even how to play the role of the investor. And so therefore sitting at the other side of the table. The second of the courses is an introduction to corporate entrepreneurship. Companies like Nokia and Kodak are example of firms that were once market leaders, but who have lost out to new firms and new technologies. Mature firms operating in mature markets have great difficulty being both successful and innovative at the same time. They suffer from inertia in one direction and fail to recognise new opportunities and adapt quickly enough to changes and new competitors. One way large corporations and organisations can survive is to develop strategies to be more entrepreneurial and to encourage an entrepreneurial mindset. In this course, you learn about why and how firms become less able to recognise new opportunities and signals from the market and become less flexible and innovative. One answer is for firms to be more entrepreneurial. But how do firms do this and how do they balance the need to be both profitable and therefore exploit their existing business and at the same time explore opportunities in new directions? The course looks at the role of leadership and company culture and how to stimulate employees to take risk, to be creative 
and more entrepreneurial in their practices. It also looks at how firms can spin out new ideas and set up corporate ventures or invest in startups or use other options to innovate, such as alliances. Creative entrepreneurship. In this course, you will learn about entrepreneurship in the context of the creative industries. The creative industries revolve around new ideas and innovation, while entrepreneurship involves pursuing the opportunities that arise and the commercialization of these ideas. So what do we mean by the creative industries? Well, for example, the music industry, the film industry, or more recently, the computer uh, console gaming industry. It also includes the design of products from electronics to kitchenware, the fashion industry, architecture, art, and advertising. Within this industry, we find a huge range of firms, from the individual designer to large multinational corporations, such as we find in the film industry. This industry has very special characteristics and challenges. The course examines the similarities and overlaps between creative thinking and being entrepreneurial. It helps you to understand the process of being creative and how to generate ideas. One challenge for entrepreneurs in the creative industry can be how to develop business models that allow them to earn rewards from and protect their ideas. The course examines the impact and opportunities that arise from digitization, the global internet and social media for entrepreneurs in the creative industries. Additional online and offline skills trainings. Each of the three courses in the minor has additional activities that are included to help you to develop useful entrepreneurial skills. These contain online exercises or instruction videos and offline classroom interactions with coaches, entrepreneurs and instructors. The courses include preparing and giving an elevator pitch, an entrepreneurial elevator pitch, include writing an effective entrepreneurial business plan. There's a course on decision making and an extra skills training related to presenting creative ideas. And now we come to the question, why take this minor? This minor offers a unique combination of perspectives on entrepreneurship, from startups to large corporations and across different industries. It provides you with insights, knowledge and skills and an entrepreneurial mindset that will help you in your future career. Whether be that be as a successful business owner or in an existing firm seeking to be more entrepreneurial. Students who successfully complete all three courses in the minor are also eligible for the TCE Entrepreneurship Certificate. The certificate is offered by the Tilburg Centre of Entrepreneurship. So broaden your horizons and join us in the minor in entrepreneurship. Thank <laughs> you.